How's it going there everyone? This is your boy Infamous Trainer and today we're talking about Pokemon episode 140 for the Sun and Moon anime. I'm very excited to talk about this episode because it was actually pretty interesting so let's dive into it. It does kick off with a recap from the last episode showing that Ash is actually the Alolan champion. Then the episode jumps in and it starts with Lusamine, Wiki, Kakui's wife as well as Faba who are essentially setting up the defenses to make sure everyone gets out of the stadium with the Guzzlords entering in. Ash decides to talk to everyone and says hey we have to stand and fight. I'm going to stand here and fight because I know Guzzlord's weakness being the smaller head on his body. In the last episode we had Team Rocket who was in the ground making a big beware robot and they actually used that in this episode. In the efforts to use the machine to steal Pokemon, Team Rocket used the robot to fight the first Guzzlord. It was pretty much useless because Guzzlord grabbed it and knocked it away. Seeing that all the Kahunas, League Challengers and more stand together to fight the Guzzlord. Team Rocket decides to go for another attack in the beware robot suit and gets attacked again by Guzzlord. Lord. But as soon as that is happening, we have the actual beware of the show, the one we've seen fighting other Ultra Beasts come in and hit Guzzlord. As this is happening, some of the other people like Lily, Sophocles, and the others are letting people out of the stadium, just to find out that we have other Guzzlords entering the arena, being two more shining Guzzlords, or at least white versions of Guzzlord. Of course, one is going to pop up by Ash and Mass Royal where they are by the docks. While the Kahunas take on the first one after Beware takes it on and almost loses it by saving its stuffle, Team Rocket comes in for the rescue and flies away with Beware. The Kahunas fight Guzzlord and they're just not doing much damage, but of course who comes to the rescue? None other being the Tapus. The Tapus come and help out our Kahunas. Using their Z moves, Kahunas knock back the Guzzlord as well as we pay into another sequence of Hal, Gladion, and Kiawe who are using their Z moves and they are also attacking their Guzzlord. There is three different guzzlords within this area. Alongside the additional help of Lily, Sophocles, Mallow, and etc, they also help Gladion, Kiawe, and Hal to defeat their guzzlord. As things are looking pretty bad for Ash, we pan over and see that Mash Royal busts out his Pokemon being Lucario and tells it to use close combat on Guzzlord as well as Pikachu using Electro Web to help tie it down. In their best efforts, things are not looking good, they are not actually beating this Pokemon. As they look as they are knocking it back, it actually pops back out its wormhole and says, I am here to stay and then out of nowhere we get the reveal of Ash's Naginadel. Yes, his pie pole, his old pie pole has evolved. It came through, made its own wormhole, and decided, hey, I'm going to help Ash right here, right now. We also see a brand new attack from Naginadel being Thunderbolt. Ash and Kukui decide to use their electric Z moves, Ash using it for Pikachu, and Kukui, Mash Royal, using it for Naginadel. They hit him with a double version of Gigabolt Havoc, and is able to knock back Guzzlord so much that he goes back into the wormhole. Some kind a move I'm not sure what move it is against the Z move and it actually is so powerful it rips off Mass Royal's mask revealing that he is Kakui. Essentially this is the meat of the video. I feel like this episode was pretty good but it could have been better. Guzzlord is a very interesting Pokemon. We don't see him much but if you play a lot of the Pokemon games you kind of know what's going to happen or what to expect. It was a pretty good episode and one thing I can say is I actually really love the animation for all the Z moves done in this episode. That's one thing about the Sun and Moon anime. They've always had great animations when it comes to the Z moves. They've always looked really Really, really good. For a rating, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, simply for the fact that I wanted more action, I wanted to see more. Besides all these group ups, you don't really get anything too iconic or anything that really stands out. Not to mention Guzzlord's English voice is the most annoying thing on the planet. It is just, it's just annoying. It's just super bad. I do not like it at all. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please let me know in the comments down below. I will make sure I do the next review for the next episode being Kakui versus Ash for the final battle. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.